This is a video which is going to show us removing a Cook Select filter from a jugular approach. We can see obviously it's been speeded up significantly. First thing we did is show our cavogram, make sure there's no evidence of thrombus within the filter. Uh, we then use this uh, dual um, sheath retrieval system with an end snare. Uh, you can see we've opened the end snare, spun the end snare, clearly not engaging this hook at all. Uh, so what we want to do is uh, bring a wire up from below. Uh, we're going to try and place this on the right side of the inferior vena cava with a balloon to see if we can move that uh, hook off the wall so that we can capture it with the end snare. Again, we've looked at it in multiple different uh, views, still, still not even really touching uh, uh, the uh, hook. So for this reason, I usually get a CAT scan on all these patients. We get some idea of the complexity of this because on an AP view, it can look central. On a uh, more oblique view, you can see the filter is clearly tilted. So still not touching it despite uh, multiple attempts. So at this point in time, you've got to move on to what are we going to do next? Now you can see where we're having trouble because it's abutting uh, the, uh, the, the wall of the filter. This is going to anterior to the right. Uh, we're going to bring a burn up. I'm going to deflect a wire up the, uh, in the right side as you look at it. It's more anterior as, as in the patient. And put a 10 by 4 balloon. We can clearly see that we're moving uh, the hook. A couple of ways of why uh, you can either try and ride the uh, snare down along the balloon or uh, you can pull the snare back, put the wire from the balloon up through the snare and then ride down uh, the, the wire as you retract uh, the balloon and see if it will bring the, uh, the snare down on top of the, um, the hook itself. So repositioning the snare, trying to bring a wire up through it. Again, you don't have a lot of control over those wires. Here it looks like it, it's on it, but we still, still, still can't get a hold of it. <clears throat> this can be rather frustrating. And so if this is not going to work, then you, you kind of want to go on to uh, the next plan. And here, and here we've snared the wire, as I said. Now we're actually going to ride the wire down, in this case, over the diagnostic catheter. But the diagnostic catheter is really just kind of, uh, it's just riding around the, um, the apex of the filter itself. So clearly not in the right position between the, the filter legs. So this ain't working. Now we've brought down a reverse curve catheter, saw somni. Uh, you want to use a long wire, make sure you got a long wire. Um, you, you don't want to go around the legs, you really want to go between the legs themselves so that you're not crimping down on the legs. Uh, you can see that as you rotate this, we're clearly uh, between some of those legs. Now we've snared the retroflex wire. I'm going to pull this a little, pull the snare catheter up a little taut. And then we're going to ride that snare down over that wire. So what we've done now, actually you can't see, is we've exteriorized both ends of the wire. So we, so we can put some tension on the wire superiorly and advance the sheath, uh, hopefully down towards the, uh, the tip of the uh, filter. So again, you got to use a 260 wire. We've exteriorized both ends, so we've got a loop around this. That means we can pull up on it and you, can, you, you attempt to pull the... Uh, the hook off the wall. Now we're taking the catheter out because we're going to replace it with a snare. And you'll see the snare. So we're pulling up, we're using the wire to direct towards the apex and it looks pretty promising here. And um, the snare, and in this case, it looked like that long well, it was outside now it's in so we don't even need to bother with the snare you're going to look at this in multiple different directions and with tension on the loop we're going to uh, you can see that we're, we're almost got it and then it's going to pop off the wall this is always kind of a bit of a gut check really when you're doing this and you'll see it pop off the wall and having access from below and these difficult retrieval it allows you to do a cavogram almost immediately and see if there's any evidence of extravasation. Um, I've seen extravasation multiple times. In most cases, basically, it tampon adds itself. You just want to make sure you don't lose that 
as it comes out and there's no evidence of extravasation. Thank you.